things. The next question of KCSE 2003. Identify ways in which Christians can overcome temptations to drug abuse. How can you overcome the temptations? Number one, you should practice self-control. Self-control works if you continue practicing it every now and then. Even if you fail, I told you, keep on trying. Number two, you should pray when you're tempted. It's just like any other temptation, like the one I was saying, talking about food. You should pray for God to help you when you're tempted. Also, you seek guidance and counseling, and you don't go. You know how guidance and counseling works? It doesn't work once. You have to keep on, keep on seeking it every now and then. You have to keep on seeking the guidance often. Any guidance, whether it's about reading or studying, methods of studying, how can I fail, how can I stop, you should be able to seek that. They continue, you continue getting so that it clicks on your mind. So you seek guidance and counseling on how to overcome the temptations. Also, you read literature on the correct use of drugs. And uh, you participate in activities that promote use of healthy uh, 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 the use of uh, you put in that promote proper use of drugs. Are we together? Yes. So that those are the ways that you can stop. And I said you keep on, you keep on practicing. You keep on. Don't give up. Pray. Pray so that God can give you strength. The steps that Christians can take to help people who abuse drugs and alcohol. Number one, we talked about. Um, you teach people to respect themselves. You teach them to, to, to behave in the proper way. You also, if someone is, has, has been abusing drugs for a while, they can also, you provide medical care for them. You help them get the necessary medical care. You encourage them to go for rehabilitation. But rehabilitation, I hear the person must first admit that they are what? They need help. You must first admit that you need help. So that now you can be helped to go to the rehabilitation center. Also, you encourage them to join support groups and spiritual groups. If you're using drugs and you want to avoid it, you know, I told you, you, st you, you stop engaging in that company. If tomorrow you saw, you go, you ask a mouth, where is your Bible, Bible group? I want to join. And you'll be going there. You know, you'll get new friends who are what? Serious. And now you've left those ones who are using drugs, you will change automatically. So you, you be encouraged to join those support groups for moral strengthening. Also educating the community on the results of drugs, especially the negative results. You live, you as a person, as a Christian, you should live an exemplary life by not using drugs, not abusing drugs or alcohol. And then you can also work with organizations like NACADA, on the campaign against drug abuse. So when I come back, we'll start on what advice you can give to a young, young person whose parent is a drunkard.